Hello and welcome to Build the Ultimate, the show in where I try and find the best car in Forza Horizon 5 for under 200,000 credits. Last week I tried to build the Ultimate Nissan Skyline and did okay around our track. Taking home a time of 1 minute and 42 seconds after upgrades, it became the third fastest car around the track after the Audi TTRS and the Jeep Track Hawk. This episode I'm taking a different approach to a car upgrade. It's time to build the ultimate. Roll the intro. Okay, boys, are you ready for today's challenge? Yes sir. yes, sir. Okay, so the challenge is pretty simple. It's basically what I do for a living here. We're going to buy a car. We're going to upgrade that car for under 200,000 credits, okay? Like I do normally. Now, there's three things you're going to be judged on. The first is going to be the total price of the car plus upgrades. With screenshot evidence, the lowest gets a point. The second is the the performance class, the biggest jump. So the the letter and the class, the biggest jump gets a point. And the third will be the track time. That's going to be the most important one because that's going to really show off our cars. Are you ready? Yeah, I am ready. Let's go and get our cars out then. Let's meet back here. We'll get our cars. Okay, so this challenge is going to be very interesting. Um, Honestly, I'm going to try and get like a mid performance class. I don't want to go too high. I want to start off pretty good. I'm going to go for A class and try and find a car that is under, around the same price I'm looking for here. So I want a car that is fast. I want a car that is speedy. I need a car that is really cheap as well. I'm going to go for a B class that I can really rev up the, rev up the price of. Rev up the, you know. I might buy a, I might buy a Subaru. They could be really good cars. I'm, I'm gonna buy a Subaru STI. Um, that's seventy-one thousand credits. I like the look of this car. It's a nice-looking car. Uh, so yeah, I'm just waiting for the boys to arrive now. Um, it's be interesting to see what cars they've got. Um, you know, I think my my car is a pretty good starting point. Uh, be interested to see what Curtis has got. It's a red car. It's a good start. It's a Mitsubishi GTO from 1997. Interesting. And how much did that cost you? The grand total of 25k. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Uh, I wonder what Cameron's got. You know, it's, it's be interesting to see what he's got. Um, mm. I wonder how... I, I spent 71,000 on my Subaru STI. What's up, boys? Yeah, I said is, that, is that an towards. Audi? Oh it my god. He's got, he's got a fucking hairdresser car. Is that what a TTRS? Hell? It is a TTRS from 2010. Oh boy, this is interesting. Um, <laughs> I've already done this car, so I, I know how this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I already know how this one's going to go. Uh, how much did it cost you altogether? Uh, 66 grand for the car alone. Fuck, I'm the most expensive so far. <laughs> okay, <laughs> interesting. Um... Uh, so, Cameron, unfortunately, you can't use this car. Oh, come on, dude. No, 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 no. No, 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 because our ca you guys don't know this yet, but our cars are going to be on the leaderboard, and that's already on the leaderboard, so you can't use that car. You need to change. Ah, Just right. Bye-bye. Right. I'm going to crash. Okay, yeah, he, he really couldn't go backwards, could he? <laughs> it's not very good at backing out. <laughs> it. I think it runs into family. So, Chris, how long do you think it's going to take to pick a car? Because, you know... 
easily a couple minutes. Yeah, seems like it's taking a sweet time. Oh. Uh, how much do you want to bet's going to be a good car? Say again. How how much do you want to bet is going to be a good car? Define good. Oh. Uh, I'm going gonna to define it as a car that's totally going to be better than my uh, my Subaru STI. I think this is the best car we've got so far. Two hours later. All right, I am on the way. I got my new car. Okay, what let's see what he's got. It is a. I can't see from this distance. Is, is that, that a fucking Nissan? That's a Honda S2000. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's a S2000. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh yeah, it's a Nissan. Nope. Oh, okay. And how much do you spend on this bad boy? This one, 25k. Oh, so, okay, so Curtis at the moment is cheaper at 20k. He got his number wrong. It's 20k, and that's 25k. I'm the most expensive 71k. Future Dylan here. Let's have a look at the spec of the cars. So, my Subaru STI S209 has a speed of 6.0, handling of 5.9, acceleration of 5.8, launch of 3.1, braking of 4.4, and off road of 5.4. With the class rating of B689 being an all wheel drive car. Curtis, he has a Mr. Bushy GTO and that has a spec of speed of 6.1, handling of 5.1, acceleration of 4.5, launch of 3.6, braking of 3.4, and off road of 5.5 with the class rating of B610, also being all wheel. Cameron on the other hand has a Honda S2000 CR, that with the speed of 5.7, handling of 5.1, acceleration of 4.6, launch of 3.7, braking of 3.7, off-road of 5.5, with a class of B635 being an rear wheel drive. It'd be interesting to see how the race goes. I'm I'm gonna heavily predict it because I'm the fastest car from the get-go, right? Okay, I'm the Ooh, fastest yeah. car in class, but I don't. Oh, okay. It starts automatically. I don't think I'm gonna win this. Okay, after a good start. Um, Not for me. Not for us. It just re it just teleported us. It gave you a buff, Dylan. Okay, I'll slow down. And I'm speeding back up. After a really good start, still in first place, going around the first corner at just under 100 miles an hour, pretty smooth. Pretty I smooth. Worries me is that my spoiler. Is... Oh no! Second corner, I fucked it. That was terrible. <laughs> so do we all. That corner is a tough one. It's a very tough corner. Onto the first. This is a terrible car. It handles like a dream, but she slows right down around these corners. But on the straights, I've got the speed. To back it up, this is amazing. Cameron. I'm not trying to. Dude, me and Curtis are like literally going down the drag. Around these corners, I am too slow. That's where you guys can catch up with me at the moment. But everything else, I am spick and span. I think I chose the right car for the job. Oh, you guys are everywhere, man. Jesus. This is oh, going to be a tight corner, that's a tight call. No, she handles it well. Holy fuck. Onto the off-road where this is Subaru's great. perfect terrain. This yes, is perfect. Go. This is amazing. Fine. I've picked the right car, as always. I am the best. Okay, You that... sound like someone that the Americans both like and don't like. No! Oh, I'm not going to say the name. <laughs> <laughs> My cornering ability has hindered me at the last second, but the drag strip is coming up, and that's why I can put my foot down and get speed. <laughs> Fuck you! I am the faster car. Okay, so, handling-wise, my car is actually decent. <laughs> yeah, speed I'm good at. Off-roading I'm good at. Corners I, I I'm good at. Make sure I can work on the braking because my braking is what was screwing me yes, up. Yes, braking for me and my cornering ability is okay, but my pure my pure speed is the best. I win this. I fucking won. So the results are in. The cars did not as good as I thought they would. 
So the Subaru did it in 2 minutes 12, Mr. Bishi did it in 2 minutes and 14, and the Honda did it in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. All of which are slower than what we've already been doing in this series. The Audi TT RS did it in 1 minute 58, the Jeep Trackhawk did it in 1 minute and 59 on the dot, Honda Civic Type R did a 1 minute 59.9, very close, and the Nissan Skyline GTR did it in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Now, these track times don't really count, these are more of a, you know, a bit of a base to start from. What really matters is how well they perform after the upgrades. Let's find out. Okay, so, Cameron, you have 175,000 credits to play with. Kirsch, you've got 180, and I've got 125. To upgrade the car to be as fast as humanly possible. Was it for 200k in total? For 100, yeah, you've got 180,000 credits to play with, Curse. But don't forget, the lowest amount of the lowest amount of spent altogether, including the car's price, gets a point. Okay, that's where it matters. Okay. So that first that first race had no points. That was purely for the leaderboard. This is where it matters. So under 200,000, including your upgrades, 175, 175 for you, Cameron, and 180 for you, Curtis. Let's, are gotcha. you ready? Let's do this. AJ thousands, that's what it is. AJ thousand five hundred weight reduction of one point one point five eight one kilograms, one three eight four kilograms. Horsepower from three forty one to nine oh eight. Lateral G's one point five to one point eight, and go from B six eight nine to S one eight eight six. That's insane amount of jump. I am happy with this performance. I can't wait to see what the others do. Now it's time to wait for either Cameron or Curse to arrive. And, oh. uh, okay, so your car looking the same. It, oh, you've got a nice, nice body kit attached to the front of your car there, Cameron. I do indeed. I was going to add a spoiler, but it killed all everything. So Top, trust me, same. So how much did you <laughs> spend all together on parts? On parts alone, it was 112 grand in Down. 550. And how credits. much was it in total? Adding the 25k would be 137,550. Okay, cool. Um, so mine cost 88,000 credits. So my total included my car 70,000 credits. Put me at 158,000 credits. So, I feel uh, like I have an idea. Won this credit game. But, but, what is your class rating? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn! Bro came in! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> nice of you to make an entrance there, Curse! <laughs> Sorry, what was your question? <laughs> so, what is your uh, class rating and number? My class rating went from B635 to S2961. So, 635 to 961, did you just say? Yes. That's 326. That's fucked. That's 326 difference. That's, 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 that's insane. Um, me, however... I went from a class of B8, uh, no, sorry, B, fuck, I forgot what it was. Uh, I went from a class of B something another to a rating of 
S1887, which if I I will got jot down here, is a difference of um, 200 and something. I think it was 586 I had before. No, it was 686. It was 200. 200 yeah, 200. Go on, give or take about 200. I think it was. Um, that's ridiculous. Um, and Curtis, how much did you spend on your car? Spent a grand total of. If I get out camera screenshots. Uh, wrong one. Uh, 98,300 credits. And how much is that in total? In total, including the, the 20 grand, that would be. 118,300 credits. So, Kirsch, you get a point for the total because cool. mine costs 158,000, Cameron's costs 137,550, and yours costs 118,000. Now, what is your class rating? Where did it go from and what did it go to? It's going from B610 to S1870. 610 to 870. That's yeah. 260. So Cameron's got another point. That's ridiculous. Um, so, point? yeah, you've got another point. Um, so, I'm going to say, to make things interesting, whoever wins this race gets two points. Okay? Ooh. And if it's a draw between Cameron and whoever wins, you have to take it down the drag strip and whoever gets there whoever wins the drag strip gets the last point okay okay so points wise i made a mistake two minutes ago uh turns out cameron you do not get the two points you only get one point because Curtis gets oh. the other points. Because you get... Cameron, you get the one point on the class. You got the highest class jump. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, hello? <laughs> so, Cameron. Unfortunately, Please. I have to deduct a point off you. Because I can't do maths. And I don't know how to listen to people. So, you only have one point for your class rating jump of 362. Whereas Curtis ah. has the other point for the overall price of 118,000 credits. So whoever wins this race gets to win overall. So uh, unless it's me, then it draws and we'll do the original idea of going down the drag ship and finding out who wins. So are you ready for the race? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. In the race, I've got a feeling that I am going to win because I am the best driver in this game. As you can see, I am slower than all the other cars. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. I've got this. I've got corners yeah, on I my put... side. Aha! <laughs> I put a Lamborghini engine in mine. I, got I have cornering, baby! Speed is not my strong point, but corners are also not my strong point. I have acceleration and speed. Everything else is gone. This is going to be very interesting. If Curtis wins this race, that means he wins the entire champion or the entire competition. He's already got one point. Cameron's also got one point. It's down to whoever wins this race gets the win. It's going to be very interesting. I, I reckon... stay close. I think I can win. Oh. It's on these fucking corners that's going to really fuck me up. Because I'm not that foul. That's a big corner. That's always the tightest corner here. You think the one that designed the track... Would it's des it's, des it's... Fuck! <laughs> it's oh, you, don't f you, you fucking distracted me, you prick. Well, last place has always looked good for me. Um, yeah, it's kind of just been your home. Hasn't yeah, it? it's been my home. In any game we play, I'm always last place. But it depends on how Unless fast these cars go the around the tracks. Thing. Because it's the leaderboard that uh, really matters for this entire gap. series. You have too big of a gap on me. Damn! Yeah. That's why I reiterate. You're not always in last place. It depends if Car uh, Cameron carries you in certain games. 
<laughs> Funny. <laughs> so it looks like Curse won this, so he won the entire competition. Two points to him. Oh. So the track times are in. The Mitsubishi GTO did it in 141.4. The Honda S2000 did it in 144.1. And my Subaru did it in 154.7. Curtis takes the win with two points. Cameron takes second place with one point, and I go home empty-handed. But how do these results bode for the actual leaderboard? Well, in first place we have the Audi TTRS at 136.9, Jeep Drakhawk in number two at 137 on the dot. Very close. Third, we have Mr. Bishy GTO at 141.4, followed by the Nissan Skyline GTR in fourth at 142.9, the Honda S2000 in fifth at 144.1, sixth, we have the Honda Civic Type R at 152.6, and in seventh and currently last place, my Subaru STI at 154.7. That is honestly terrible, but I really like these videos. Um, next week we're going to be doing back to normal. We're going to be doing me, myself, and I, and we're going to see how well I can build a BMW. Yes, yes, a BMW. Stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, guys, go down below, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And if you're new around here, check out the other videos. My name is Dylan Jones. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.